Okay, welcome to this video on how to build the Dark Ops comms tower. Um, this version is the uh, from the Wasteman range, uh, but the standard comms tower uh, is the same thing. It's just that the Wasteman one has the Lunar Coalition logos on it. The kit consists of uh, two sizes of MDF. Um, the three mil, which is the thicker of the two, will be the core assembly um, of the actual tower and the two mil sheets that you find here are for the detailing so for at this point at the beginning of the video find your two mil detail skins and simply put them aside for now so don't be when we're needing those what we do need to find is these if there's any of these piece, pieces left in you need to pop those out because we don't won't be needing those so we'll pop all those out and then you need to find the base now the lugs on the base the lug holes uh, and the lugs in the kit itself are all offset to make it um, harder to get wrong and the other parts like this here are for the uh, radar dish on top. So we'll find the base first, we'll put that out and then we'll start finding the right pieces to build the core centre of the tower uh, and that'll be the first step. So quickly running through the sprues, the one with the checker plate on is obviously the uh, areas where your figures are going to stand as it goes around the tower um, we have the squares here, which are the top and bottom of the comms tower at the top. These pieces are the angled parts that create the comms tower at the top. And then we have the side uh, rail on the steps. These parts are the parts we'll be using next. So you want to poke out four of those. Uh, and uh, the ones on this sprue create a box section which slides up inside the frame that we're going to make uh, and then we all attach the door to that so it looks like it's some kind of compartment that you come down from the tower there's the doorway um, there's the other parts that we need next with the area for the um, the steps and these are the um, main side walls to the walkways going around the tower. Uh, there's the side that goes up the side of the, um, the, the, the steps going up the side. And these parts here are to um, for the top of the comms tower uh, where the plates are set, uh, attached to the sides to give you the angles. Uh, and there's some more checker plating. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to poke out these four sections here. Okay, so we'll get the board facing us that way. Get this one. With that to, the, to your left. And that goes on the back. This one goes on the left and as you can see the lugs only fit in one way. This one on the right and the lugs are offset again so you can't put it in the wrong way around. I'm only dry fitting these at the moment so I shall glue them off camera. The front has the doorway and again the lugs are offset okay now i'm going to use uh, this brand uh, there are other brands available that this is a really strong wood glue it makes a massive difference because there's more actual glue in it than a lot of the cheap pvas which are uh, mainly water and water with wood just soaks in this has got a really strong bond it's same as using super glue and it doesn't take uh, long for it to uh, start to cure okay so i'm just gonna use a, an old brush i pour some pva into a dish 
and then I'm gonna just put some little bits, don't go overboard. I'm gonna put some little bits around the base and a few pieces up the side here. Uh, and then I'll assemble the um, block section that fits into the top. Okay, for the box, all you need is this one here, which has got pegs on all sides. That's going to be the top. The sum with flat, that's going to go there. Same with that one, that's going to go there. The one with the tabs goes that side. The one with the tabs this side goes here. And as you can see, if you move the centerpiece out, it creates a box. So you have flat on the bottom. And then the lid is glued on top, which leaves you a hollow on that side. Okay, so that's what I'm going to glue together now. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so there's the finished box. And all you do with that one is uh, slot it into the top and make it, glue it in flush with the, uh, the top of the tower there. And you don't want it coming down too far because uh, might interfere with some of these pegs. We'll just put it flush with the top. It doesn't matter about the gap being under here because you're never going to see underneath because of the base. You can't ever see under there. Um, so we'll glue that on there and then we'll come back. And there we go. Because I've used decent quality wood glue, I haven't had to put any rubber bands or anything around it. I just held it in place uh, for about 10 seconds just to let the, the glue bond. Uh, it gives you a little bit of time to uh, make sure everything's in position um, and any of this overspill you can just wet a brush if you wish and just remove or smooth out that glue it will evaporate some of it um, but that's your basis for your tower uh, this part here is where the steps are going to be put up first layer of steps it'll go around here then there'll be the steps going up to the top part before we start making the top of the tower. Okay, so just take a little bit of time to make sure everything's pushed in in place. Like so, and that everything's fairly sturdy. The reason the pegs are longer is just to give it more stability uh, at this part of the assembly. The next one that you'll need is this piece. As you can see, you can tell if you poke them all out, these ones, they only fit in one position because everything's offset, like I say. So you want that one to go on there. And then the other side, you want this one to go on that side. Don't put anything at this point on this side. There isn't one of these. What you'll need for there when we get to make, putting the steps in is the side which goes on there and that's for the steps okay so first of all we're not going to do that yet because we need to put, put the, the step pieces in so I'll do that glue it and then we'll be back in a second okay so I stuck them on this side first put glue on on the inside of this piece and then starting from the bottom I just wiggled them and fed them in and then slowly and frustratingly you'll get there and it makes a nice strong staircase bit of glue on this edge and away you go like I say if you get a bit of water on, a, on an old brush you can work away and just get rid of the excess glue um, don't worry too much about this because there's um, no lugs will be on show at the end because like with all our kits we hide all the um, the MDF lugs that hold it together so you won't see any of these pieces. Um, I will say at this point, in case I forget, um, that if you want a, uh, an easy way of painting them two-tone, before we put the two mil detail on, spray this one color and then spray the two mil um, a different color before you stick it on um, because it's a lot easier than trying to paint 
it, it all in when it's when it's all assembled in one piece. Okay, so the next thing we'll look at, because that ground core assembly is complete, the next thing we'll look at is the um, the second floor balcony that goes around here. So I'll find those pieces and then uh, we'll be back. Okay, so using the last pieces of the uh, checker plate decking and they're gonna go in this fashion around the edge so if you start with this area here and the long uh, pegs go into the main uh, building so we'll glue that in place then you want this one and then the smaller piece on this side don't worry about these lugs sticking out here it doesn't go to another platform it's where we're going to have a piece going up on the side okay so we'll glue those into place and be back in a second okay so we're we're glued in place with that piece now so what we're going to do is we're going to add the side supports for the balcony you can start with the small one which locates into there then you'll need this one. It should be too difficult now because the lugs only fit one way. So just dry fit them first. Then this one on this front edge here. And then there's only one left after that, which is this side. Uh, we'll glue them and be back in a second. So there is the uh, core assembly. Now I'm going to give that some time to dry, um, so we're going to work on the uh, the, cut, the top tower now. Uh, so we'll just put this aside and then we'll get the components that we need for that. Okay, so the pieces we'll need is the, the base of the comm tower, the top frame, and then all around the sprues you'll find these little boomerang shapes. A little note on putting them in, you've got to make sure that the two um, longer ends at the bottom are in place on the base plate. The top hasn't got that little flange, okay? And all we're gonna do here is, just put that piece out there. You're gonna stick these in, like so, all the way around. And then once you've done that, we're going to glue the frame on top. And then you're going to let that dry a little bit because that's where we're going to attach the uh, external panels. Okay, so I'll do that and we'll come back. Okay, next up, these pieces are all the same size, so it doesn't matter about where you put them. Okay, so you're going to Put them in like so. Leaving the gap where your troops can see out of. So we'll glue those in all the way around. Back in a second. Okay, so when you're finished, that's what we've got. Okay, so uh, next up we'll create the, the lid that goes on with the, the radar assembly. So this is the uh, top section of the roof. There's a little etched out area there where you can see where you place the, uh, the details as though there's a hatch. Um, you need the disc. We're gonna glue that in place there. And we're gonna set that aside. And then we're gonna start with getting together the pieces you need. So you need all the uh, barriers, the base to the radar, which will Attach into here like so. And then these two sections fit into there. And then we're gonna start attaching these pieces to it. This piece here, which is a stabilization bracket for the back also. Okay, so we'll do that back in a second. So that's just drain and put the little um, hatch detail on there when you're ready. You might want to paint that first. Now this is a piece of 3mm 
that we popped out when we were making this piece here. This one needs to stick on the bottom of here so that when you put it on top, it locates inside. And then this piece of two mil <coughs> goes on the base and that just helps to uh, frame this part a little bit and helps to hide the join. So I'll do that now. Okay, so that's nicely squared in the middle and underneath the tower itself there's the little frame so that it can locate nicely. So those three assemblies need to just dry now and then you need to pop out all of these details here. Um, or if you wish you could try and spray them um, in situ on the frames if it was easier for you that way. Uh, it's just that sometimes if you pop them out and lay them on a piece of MDF or something to spray them you'll get the sides uh, whereas if they're in the frame you don't necessarily catch the sides. Uh, it just depends on preference really. And what we've got is all the um, details. Now remember that the Lunar Coalition is a C symbol so make sure you put those on the right way. And it's up to you where you put them. Uh, there are six with the coalition symbols so it's up to you where you place them. Uh, I usually put two on one side, two on the other but you can put one on the bottom, one on the top, one on the bottom, one on top if you wish. It's entirely up to you. Um, and then <coughs> I'll show you on this one. This is a completed one. So that's what we're looking at. These details have got the symbol on too. There's a finishing piece. And then for the tower, just take that off on the roof. There's the little assembly. There's a tiny little wheel you can put on top as well so it looks like it's functional. Inside, there's also a door and a wheel. So it actually looks like you're gonna gain access to this lower part here, okay? So that's what you need to do with the external panels. I'm not gonna show those being fitted on this video because I'm gonna spray them separately and then it's just gonna end up looking the same as this when I put them on anyway. Okay, so there is your finished tower. It's quite a sizable piece and uh, it's quite solid, it's a nice uh, objective, especially on uh, waste man, you can put a vending machine inside and people have to fight to get to the top of it, which is what we generally do. Uh, and it looks good with your Lunar Coalition. And there's plenty of space, quite sizable gangways to get a uh, good sized base in there. Uh, and then just paint the door. Okay, so that's the uh, Lunar Coalition comms tower. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and can follow along. And Thanks for watching and thanks for buying Dark Arts products.